Hi, I'm still working on my 6x6 mini album of our girls trip to Auckland and today I'm going to scrapbook the zoo photos and I'm going to use the Sweet Safari collection. Um, this collection is really cutesy, it would be great for um, baby babies um, it's sort of got a little bit of a boyish feel to it but it's super cute for um, boys or girls and as you can see with the picture my life cards there are two sides to each so you can sort of play around with what you're wanting to do with them um, I think they'd be great for um, getting out and about for walk type photographs um, for just young people or young um the youth in general, uh, just because of these bright colours, but yet there's earthy tones tied into them. Um, I love these puffy stickers. Um, this is something I hope that Close to My Heart does more of because they just add um, a lot to a page without adding too much weight. So this is the album I'm going to be popping it into as part of our trip. Now, a trip to the zoo means more photos uh, than for other events or activities. Uh, I actually took my big camera to the zoo and we had um, many opportunities for uh, different photographs. What you saw there was a huge cull from what I had. Um, I'm Because of this, I'm going to use some flip flaps on this double page spread, which means that I've got to incorporate um, another couple of layers into what I'm doing and how I set this up. So I've used uh, some of the picture my life cards to sort of back the photos that are going into the flip flaps. Super easy, I could have cut down some of the patterned paper. I just thought it would be nice to give a little bit of weight to um, the lift in the flip flap as I went. So just having a look at other paper options here, uh, thinking about what I could bring in, and I quite like that blue with the clouds and the stars um, to go with the green foliage that I picked as my backing paper. The paper you saw there, the brown, is the back of the green, and I've decided I'm going to use um, some of the 4 by 6 um, Picture My Life cards to tuck onto there, and they are both different but I'm keeping continuity between the pages with um, where I position them and the fact that that nice green foliage paper is kept there in the background. The, um, yeah, it's quite tricky thinking through what will come behind, what we'll see and what we don't see. And I actually don't mind that little cluster that there isn't a feature sticking out there. So I'm going to get um, these Picture My Life cards stuck down. That way um, I've sort of got that part of it. This still leaves room for me to tuck bits and pieces behind it because I don't do the tape runner right at the very top or right at the very bottom. Now lining up the pages and using the mat helps us to make sure these are lined up, although they will be sitting um, with the ring binder between them. So um, I want to still see that connection between the left and right page, but it doesn't have to be perfectly lined up because we're not going to see them right jammed up next to each other in it. So just sticking on the photos onto the Picture My Life cards, and I am going to put them in there because it just helps me to visualise and see what it is that's actually being, um, what it's going to look like and how to keep it balanced. So on the back of each of these Picture My Life cards, I am going to do the um, some journaling behind. So the journaling uh, can be hidden. Um, it doesn't have to be hidden. It's not a secret in this case. It just helps to keep that visual image of the page uh, tidy in a way. Um, so there is a lot going on on the front. So adding some journaling in there would add... Uh, a little bit more to it. The colours that go with the Sweet Safari collection, um, or the featured colours, are Avocado Black, Bluebird, Candy Apple, Espresso, Lagoon, Sundance and White Daisy. So there's quite a few of my favourite colours tucked in there, which is probably why I love using the brightness of this so much. So I'm going to put some of the puffy stickers on top of the page protectors or the flip flap covers. This, uh, you, I could have tucked them in underneath, uh, you would still see that dimension, but I just like the feel of having them on top. And because this will be in an album, it's not likely that they're going to get bumped off all the time. So just choosing uh, relevant puffy stickers that will fit into the different photographs 
and working out what might look there and then flicking over the flip flaps to check and see if there's anything else that might work or other stickers that might work on there and I will later on add some more. So lifting those over um, I sort of think okay so now I need to actually work on more of the main pages that are they're not really the main pages because the flip flaps sit on top but how's that going to look when it is opened up. So uh, I'm going to mat each of these little photos um, and just with some white daisy and using some scraps from other projects. Um, I had a few comments on um, my la uh, one of my other videos about just using the scissors to cut. I'm not a perfectionist and I think I've said this before so it doesn't bother me that it might not be completely square or the perfect distance around the photographs. Uh, if it does bother you, use your trimmer, go for it, uh, but it can be quite freeing to just use uh, your scissors because visually your eye can be um, a pretty good measure or a pretty good way of seeing. See how I trim off a little bit there because it wasn't quite straight. Uh, so you can trust um, your own visual perception of things. It doesn't always have to be square. But if you want it square and lined up, then go for it. See, uh, again, I'm just using the scissors to cut out the back of, or the other side of that green foliage that I've used for my base paper. And I've just made sure that the little scallops on the brown are going to be lining up and they're all sort of scalloping down. Um, I almost, when I was positioning the uh, vertical photograph of the giraffe, I almost turned it round just to make more room on it, but I decided I wanted the little bits of scallop to peek through and to go behind. So I'm still sort of tempted to use that cloud paper in the back there and you'll see later on that all well, I'm going to do it now actually after using the uh, versamat there to measure how tall it needed to be and each page is six so I'm just going to cut that in half so I did that two and three quarter of an inch by six across um, and I just really like how that adds another connection between the two pages. So the taller photo will be a little bit bigger, sticking out top and bottom of that, but I don't mind. And I actually quite like the way it looks. So I looked there as to whether I might use the zip strip down the bottom, connecting between the two, but I decided against that. So I'm going to use the Tombow Tape Runner just to attach down my photo mats and put them onto the wee backing papers that I picked. Uh, so again, when I'm using the tape runner here, I'm not doing it right at the top or right at the bottom, right around every edge. I'm leaving a little bit of room in case I want to tuck something in, um, in behind, and uh, that just gives that flexibility, but it's still got that stickability. So there's the last one there, and that's sort of what they're going to look like. So now I'm going to put down the cloud paper, which is kind of on the back, I think, of the hero paper of this collection with all the animals. Um, but there's lots of little comments on that paper uh, about being cute and too sweet and little baby and things like that that don't really fit what I'm doing here. But I love that we still have the other side of the paper so they're not wasted. Um, every paper can be used in some way, shape or form and perhaps not what the theming's all about but changing it around. I am kind of cheating with this collection and that I am using it for zoo photos because it's very much based on animals but um, I will be using this as the month progresses in lots of different layouts and themes using the colours and the simple patterns. Now I'm pulling out an older alphabet set here, this must be a couple of years ago called the Boho set because I want the capital letters so the font I want to use for my title is only lowercase but I had a look at what I might have in the capitals that would work and this boho set came out nicely because it will fit beautifully with A and the Z for both of my capital letters. I think it's the teacher in me and the, it's a place name especially that I wanted to use capitals uh, for Auckland. So there's my stamped lettering. Um, now I should have just turned the mat over earlier to do Auckland Zoo instead of using the backing paper but because I was just doing one letter at a time I was able to move it. However I'm going to be using the February stamp of the month um, borders stamp here and I want this sort of scribble to go all the way across both pages so 
the beauty of the clear box blocks are that we can line these up pretty good it's not 100% perfect but it actually looks just fine and with the busyness of the flip flaps and things it works when the page comes together now I was just going to stop there hence I cleaned the stamp down but having a visual look at what um, thinking about the scribbles and putting them at the top I decided to do it at either end of Auckland and then when I look at that, I think actually I need it between um, the words Auckland and Zoo. So I just stamp a little bit of the stamp to do uh, leading up to it and the same with after Auckland. So there we have our stamps all the way across, top and bottom. Um, I think that this February stamp of the month is going to be super useful for heaps of different things. So uh, watch this space. So now I'm just having a look at this page and thinking which from the sticker collection can I use on it and I initially had thought that this arrow would be a good one and I have now added that just down the bottom under the elephant photos. Um, and looking at another way to connect the page, there's two of these lovely sort of um, browny green leaves that I was able to put one on the left and one on the right which another balancing eye connection across between the two pages and um, it's interesting that the flip flaps cover both of these on both sides so it's only when you open it out that you will be able to see that little detail tucked in there which is quite cool so now I'm going to add the journaling onto the back of these cards and just added another little sticker in there uh, over the photo of my girls on the elephant and it's not a real elephant, it is a concrete one uh, that's been at the zoo for many years and I'm sure if I dig back through my photographs there will be a photo of the kids sitting on there, one or two, maybe the three of them, it probably won't be all three. Um, Ethan was born after we left Auckland but we used to visit here when we lived um, not far from the zoo many years ago. So I'm adding the journaling onto the sticker from the sticker collection. Um, there will be two pieces of journaling on this double page so that behind each of the flip flaps there will be some. So I'm just thinking through working out how we're going to um, fit what I'm going to say and getting those details recorded. Um, it's been quite fun putting this album together in the sense that the whole album is a story so I don't have to say everything all in one um, in one hit sort of thing. Now I'm going to use some of the stickers to go around the journaling, uh, sort of tucking some different bits in there, thinking about the words I've written and the pieces that will connect with that. So there's that wee pocket card um, collected there ready to go. Now I'm going to work on some journaling to do with the other and I decided the foam wasn't the best surface, so I turned my mat back over. Um, I think this is, a, it's a capybara or copybara. I'm not sure how you would pronounce it, but this little photo, these are the largest rodents uh, around, and they were super cute for a rodent. Um, it reminded me of the movie The Princess Bride when they are in the fire swamp and then there's the rodents of unusual size and I think these guys would pretty much meet that although in that movie they were a little bit more ferocious. So I'm tucking that in there, it's still got that puffy sticker on the top but I decide I need to move it up. Uh, one of the beauties of this being um, on a page protector is that I can move it easily enough and I do have a look thinking are there any more uh, of the stamp of the puffy stickers I can use but end up just using a straight sticker on there. So here we have the page pretty much good to go um, and now I'm going to pop them in and attach the flip flaps. So there's the left page there. Now these are quite cool, you just tear them off, they're adhesive ready to go. Years ago I remember cutting down page protectors and stitching them up and slotting them in and working out ways to do it but these flip flaps are pretty cool if you're wanting to fit a few more photos on um, or even some journaling in the back there to help tell your story. So attaching the right page flip flap and there we have it, a double page six by six spread of our recent visit to Auckland Zoo. And just some close-up 
um, photographs that we're scrolling through here just to see some of the colors um, and the layers and depth in this image and here it is with the flip flaps open um, yeah totally recommend this collection and look forward to seeing what you come up with when you use it